Niobrara is not alone. Countless communities across Nebraska are seeing their connections severed by widespread road closures. Here's a look at this morning's fallout from that continued overnight flooding. As you can see, there's so much red on this map. Anyone trying to navigate those blockades would have a hard time making it very far. Conditions aren't much better in South Dakota, where Governor Christy Noem is said to be preparing an emergency declaration. However, most state offices are back open this morning after closing closing down for the past few days due to weather. Here in Iowa, closings are pretty well scattered throughout the state. The most obvious headache for drivers this morning will be Highway 75, running between Sioux City and Lamar's. There, northbound traffic is being routed on a detour along 110th Street. Despite the ugly conditions outside, many Siouxlanders don't have much choice in staying home from work today. So for those of you preparing to brave the roads, an extremely important reminder before you hop in the car. Obey the sign that says road closed, turn around, find another way. It's even not if, worth it. Yeah, even if you don't think you see any water. No, yeah, don't do it. That's what the signs are for. As the old saying goes, turn around, don't drown. It may be tempting to skirt those blockades when flooding looks shallow, but don't forget that as little as 12 inches of rushing water, as Austin mentioned, is enough to carry away most cars. Despite the fact over half of all flooding-related drownings occur in a vehicle, many commuters still choose to ignore those signs. You've got one coming up behind you right now. Yep. Yeah. For some reason, the signs mean nothing to people, and, and it, it, it really should. It's a, a terrible idea to drive through there. The National Weather Service says it is never safe to drive or walk into floodwaters. Remember, you can always call 511 to find out the latest on road conditions straight from the DOT.